Oh. My, you startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. For the seldom purpose of prayer, Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Perhaps we can share the experience by reaching into the weave together. Then follow my lead. Now you. Like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman, the woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. Look at that. We're channeling the weave. How does it feel? That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting, but it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. <laughs>